your home for minor league baseball. MLB The Show has coverage from the AAA West. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Round Rock Express and the Salt Lake Bees. And now, your Salt Lake It's baseball. Bees. It's the show, and it comes your way next. Now into the box, Steel Walker. He will lead this one off today. The 3-2 pitch. And that misses ball four. So a good battle to begin the ball game today, but the leadoff man will reach first anyway. Now to the plate, Anderson Tejeda. His career numbers in this matchup. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at-bats. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. The 2-2 two -two one more time. We got three Not and close two. with that when it's way above the strike zone. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 two -two pitch there, but kind That's of overdid four. it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the That's hitter. Third. Stepping in next, Eli White. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. 2 and 2. Walker over at second. Tejeda on at first with nobody out. Still even at 2 and 2. Fox now the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. And now here is Andy Abanez. Andy Abanez. And it's fouled away. First and second now, one man out. Swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. So now here is Sam Huff looking Sam to put them ahead early with this at bat. The set and the 2 1. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hey, it's looking like he may be able to get out of this one after giving up two singles early. High in the air down the right field line. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Striding in is Deshaun Knowles. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Tejeda into shallow center. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. And stepping in, Dexter Fowler. As he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. Fowler. Now the 2-1 pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Walker is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Base is empty, third. two away. And that brings up Mike Trout. Nine. Wow. Maybe too Count much two break on the slider. Two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Field it cleanly. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. Batting four, the third baseman, Anthony. At the plate now, Red Anthony Red Rendon. Red. Two and one. Nope. Three and one. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. The three and one pitch. Three and two now. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. 
now the payoff pitch home. Again he sends it out of play. The three two one more time and a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four and as a result that will move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Strike two as the fastball is let go. Ball two. Now two and two. This is the pitch where you want to attack the zone. If you go three and two, then you put the runners in motion. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two seamer, and the inning is over. So stepping in is number 83. He'll take his first hacks here. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Here's the one and two delivery. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Here now the 2-2. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Up next, Ronald that Guzman. The designated hitter. Ronald Guzman. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Now the three and two pitch. Hit hard to the right side. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. The second base. Ryan. In now, Ryan Doro. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. No reason to sit on anything other than hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. Skied into straightaway right. Knowles is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now to the plate, here is Aswan Vieira. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. The 1 1 home. High in the air out to center field. Trout has a read on it. And he makes the play to end the inning. Now at the plate, Jose Rojas. The 1-1. One, one. Back outside. He walked the guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Here's the pitch. Shoots this one over to first. Scooped up. And he'll step on oh. first himself for the out. So bases are empty with one out now. And the exciting middle Frank infielder Lynch. Franklin Barreto oh, bats yeah. next. Oh. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold yeah, off on it. And it's one two strike. and one now. Ball even at two and two.
three and two now. So that's two pitches in a row above the belt. As a hitter, that's what you're looking for, especially when it's a day game and the ball is carried. That just wasn't a good enough pitch to hit. Payoff pitch one more time. High and deep to right center. Long run for the center fielder. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Next to hit the is Mitch Nain. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom yeah. of the second. 1-1. One, one. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Two, two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2-2. Two, two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Steel Walker. Now the three and two pitch. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. And that is through into right field for a single. Now that the pitcher, Anderson Tejeda. Stepping in now, Anderson Tejeda. Swinging a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw won't they get him. Next, it'll be Eli White. The left fielder. Eli Walker at second. White. Tejeda at first with no outs. Fastball. Close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. And that's through into left to base hit. The throw home. This will not be close, and the run will score easily. Now that first base, Andy Ibanez. So now to the plate, Andy Ibanez pulled high in the air out to left field. On the move is Fowler. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. So one down with a pair of runners aboard, and that'll bring up Sam Huff. Sam. Huh. Just missed with the 2-2 two -two count, and it runs full now. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And he now misses that. with that one. Ball four. And that's going to load the bases now with still only one away. This is on the ground over to first. The second for one. Back to the pitcher covering. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Bottom of the third now. And next to hit is the catcher, Chad Waller. 1-1. One, one. Two balls, one strike. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw to first is in time for the first down. So next to hit is Deshaun Knowles. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. The 1-1. One, one. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. The 1-2. Pitch is popped up. Ibanez is right there. Yeah, that's at number two. Bases are empty here with two away. And that'll bring in the switch hitting outfielder Dexter Fowler. Two out, nobody on. And he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. He's around first, heading for two. And now that'll hop over the wall. So he'll be at second here with two away on a ground rule double. 
Into the box, Mike wow. Trout. And the count will be full. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Line drive to left. And that's in there. Base hit. Fowler rounds the corner and is headed home. The tag, and he's saved. We're all square and one apiece. The third base, number six, Anthony Rendon. To the plate now, Anthony Rendon fouled off. And another foul ball. Trout at second with two down. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. He's in at second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. At the plate, Matt Thijs. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Take a step back right here. After three fastballs in a row, there is no chance he throws you a fourth. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Stepping up is Ronald Guzman. He singled in his first A.B. Now the one and one pitch. He swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Two strike. To two, two balls two, and two yeah. strikes now. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. So next to bat will be Ryan Dora. Flew out in his only at-bat so far. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two and two now. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The white fielder, number 10. Next up is Aswan Vieira. He Vieira. flew out in his last A-B. The 3-1. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Bottom of the inning now, and striding forward the designated hitter, Jose Rojas. Now the one and one pitch. Ball that outside. Down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. And this is swung on and missed. And this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout. And there's one away. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. The second baseman. Next to hit, Mitch Ney will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Very high, two and one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. One thing that can nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his... Meanwhile now, this is trouble down that right field line. This should be extra bases. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Now that the catcher. Yeah. Oh. At the 
Blake now. Chad Waller. Well, wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's two and one. Good time to be a nine hole hitter right now. More than likely going to get a good pitch to hit. The top of the order is looming on deck. Good spot to be a good hitter right now. And he gets there, makes the running play, and that ends the inning. Taylor Cole please. enters from the bullpen now to do the pitching. The Number 67. Taylor. All ready to go Cole. in the top of the fifth. And digging in is the outfielder, Steel Walker. The 2 1 home. On a swing, and he popped him up. Off to the left in foul territory. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Next now to stand is in is Anderson Tejeda. Anderson. He's 0 for 1 Tejeda. thus far. The 3 1. He is swung on and missed. A full count now. When you get yourself to a 3 1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Change up too low. Now he walked him. Left field. Eli. Yeah. The 3 2 pitch. Hey, last two pitches back to back. Off speed, then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. And he fouls this one off. Now a move over to first, and he'll dive back in. Another payoff pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Trout. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, now Andy Abanye. He's 0 for 2 in the Andy ballgame so far. Ibanye. The 1 1 is Aye. in there for the second strike. Tejeda, the runner at first with two gone. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. is on and he'll take over on the mound in relief. Number 58. Now at the plate here is Deshaun Knowles. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Fastball laid off well below the knees. A shot to second base and handled for the first out. One out, base is empty. And that'll bring in the switch hitting outfielder, Dexter Fowler. Fowler. Bounce to the right into the loaded up infield. Reined in. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. And that'll bring now Mike Trout to the dish. Fielder. And if you remember, Mark. he took home a Silver Slugger Award for wow. AL Outfielders a year ago. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got, got him in the coconut. Three ball, one Boy, that's a good pitch right there. The old, old school guys would call that a little bit of no, chin ball. music Take up and in. See if he can get him to move off the box a little bit. Now batting. Runner at Third first base with base two base. gone in the inning. Anthony. And that'll bring up Anthony Rendon. The 1 1 home is looked at for ball number two. Hit out towards second. He's got it. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. The batter will be Sam Huff. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. This is badly. It's ball two. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. 
down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink the strike zone to like the size of a soup can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. Now batting. Number 83. Stepping in now. Number 83. Kick down the third baseline. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. Now back. Designated hitter. Ronald Guzman. In now, Ronald Guzman. Fouled away. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Just hung in there on that one. Now another 2-2. Two -two. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Fowler has a read on it. Makes the play one away. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. So the next to bat will be Brian Doro. The base knocked to the outfield could score the tying run from second. So 1-1 one, one home. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swing and a hard liner to center field. Trout is there, two gone. Striding in is Swan Vieira, trying here to plate the tying run from second. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way. But we'll have to press pause. Is that strike three to retire the side? Bottom of the sixth inning now. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Matt Thice. The 1 1 home. Ground ball right into the ship. And there's one away. So now to the plate, Jose Rojas. He's grounded out and struck out in his two trips to the plate. The 2 2. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, 2 and 2. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. That's lifted the other way out to left. White is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Next to dig in, Franklin Barreto. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Hits are even right now at five aside. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Seventh inning ready to roll, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Steel Walker. No, you're only down one right here, but the exploding stuff that's coming out of the back end of a lot of teams' bullpens, I mean, just north of 95 plus stuff diving all over the plate it's gotten a lot tougher to scratch across runs against these teams bullpens swing line drive that's going to be trouble running hard he's digging for second and he'll get in at second base as the tying runs aboard with a leadoff double James Hoyt comes on now and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven So now to the plate, Anderson Tejeda. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Hey. Two and two. <laughs> Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. And it's fouled away. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Next, it'll be Eli White. He's working on a one for three thus far. White. 
high in the air down the right field line. Right fielder giving chase. And he makes the catch in the corner. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Now that Ready now is Andy Abanye. Potential time Ibanez. run for him at third base. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball. You could tell he was out in front on that side. Looking at a fastball to end the inning. So here is Mitch Nay, one for two with a double on his line thus far. 1-1. One, one. Line toward center field. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. So that's how they'll start out their half of the seventh inning. <laughs> Standing in now, Chad Waller. Outside, 2-1. Trying to shave that outside corner with the fastball, and he missed it. It's three and one now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't Eight. afford to be giving out free passes Three this two. late. Three and two, full count. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Deshaun Knowles. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Now the three and two pitch. Count remains full. Oh, on the ground is short. Could this be two? One there. Relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. Number 71 gets the call from the bullpen to pitch in relief. Number 71. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring up Sam Huff. Uh, 3 1. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Barreto fields cleanly. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. And now, number 83 singled in his last at bat. Hit on the ground to short. Barreto brings it in. Throw on to first, two gone. Next, here is Ronald Guzman. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Oh, that's off the plate. Both teams with six hits so far. Called strike on the sinker, two and two now. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the a swing and a miss? That retires the side, and that will do it. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and coming forward is the switch hitting outfielder, Dexter Fowler. Popped him up. Cabanez trying to get there. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. So the now into the box Number is Mike Trout. Two base hits, Mike. both singles to this point. Wow. The 1-1. One, one. Takes Aye. a pitch for strike number two. Hey, it's a game of execution. If the pitcher stays right there, this lineup's going to continue to have a tough time. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Again, a 1-2. Now a high fly ball headed for the corner and left. It has the distance, and it's a foul ball. Just not able to let that breaking ball travel enough right there. You could see his eyes oh, light up when that popped out of the pitcher's hands, and he just hooked it foul. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. The 2-2 one more time. 
Line to second where it's caught there for out number two. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. One Anthony. for two with a double on the ledger Rendon. so far. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Oh, high, deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. To the plate now, Matt Thice. And this is low here, so the count goes to three and one. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Leading off the inning, it'll be Brian Dora. They'll look to spark the offense and even things up. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do, trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. The count now at two and two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Trout has a read on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now to bat, a Swan Vieira. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Into the box, Steel Walker. Oh, no man, offer man. on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. Grounded to first. And that's in there for a base hit. His third hit of the game. At the plate, Anderson Tejeda. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. I always remember John Smoltz telling me the greatest asset a closer can have is short-term memory. And this situation calls for it right here. He's got to forget that he has any traffic on the base pass and just attacked his own. Short, hit hard. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Now that's the left field. Eli. Yeah. At the plate now, Eli White. Count remains two and two. Swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Bat splinters as this is on the ground to first base. And indeed, he'll not even try as he goes to first. And that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. A.J. Ramos gets the call here as he'll try and look for one out to finish this thing off. Andy Abanez will be his first assignment as he steps in with two men in scoring position now, but also two away. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Hit on the line, and this one's into center field. That's a base hit. He's safe. The throw was offline. And that ties the ball game in the top of the ninth. And he'll get in there safely. Stepping in now, Sam Huff on a good pitch there. Had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. That's a really nice thing about pitching with the base open. You can look out of the strike zone a little bit more and try to get a guy to chase your pitch just like that one. The payoff pitch struck him out, so it remains a one run lead as they head into their final set of swings.
Jose LeClerc comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And standing in is the DH, Jose Rojas. The 1-1 one -one pitch. Ah, changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. Fouled off. Here's the one and two delivery. Oh, let's go. And he has to fight this one off to stay alive as this is fisted fouled off to the left side. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Another full count pitch home. Out in front as he rolls over it to second. Throws in time and that's out number one. And next up will be Franklin Barreto. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Smoke toward the hole. And that is going to sneak on through into right. It's a one out single. First, and then dive, but he's back in there. Standing in now, Mitch Nain. And here is strike three called on a fastball. Looks to be about eye level, but it's out number two instead. Barreto leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And he struck him out for out number three. So that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first. Yeah, and that's just a punch to the gut of the home fans as they watch their team fall behind at the top of the ninth. Then they can't get it done at the bottom and come away with a loss. A one-run finish, 4-3, to three, the final tally today. Round Rock used a three-run ninth to help propel them to the win. Drew Anderson is the winning pitcher of record. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Final line score. First for the Victorious Express.